Yo, what's up? Rocky Mountain Dipper here. Doing another dip review as always. And today, we're gonna be dipping this spearmint. This shit is fucking different, I gotta say. Like, it smells like mint a little bit, of course. Yeah, just like, just like kind of hair. But, it smells like. Motherfucker. It smells like mint, but it's a weird mint, man. Anyway, let's crack this tin. Cracking a lot of tins lately. <laughs> All right, let's take a whiff. Ooh, it looks dry. Like, look at it in the light, though, dude. Like, that looks a little fucking dry. I'm not seeing any moisture, but it smells. It smells like shit now. There's a little undertone of something here. It smells like Chinese garlic. Of course, my dad's gonna come downstairs now. Fuck. But yeah, it smells like. What's the date on this? Sell by May 18th. That's not even bad. Yeah, it smells like Trident gum, but then there's an under hint of like of something that I don't know. Anyways, my dad's coming. Hey dad. What's that? Mm -hmm. Pretty good in you. How's work? Yes, sir. Oh, well, I guess you got home at like. A little bit more short of day. Yeah, that's better than 19 and a half hours. Yep. That's a good day, though. 720 bucks. Plus 60 for the truck. Well, there you go. Minus 200 for taxes. About, eh? Well, 20, 27% of that is taxable income. And then 4% is just the stuff that's non taxable. Do my math like crazy. Oh, that's even more. Yeah, sort of. <laughs> yeah, in my cookies. Well, I don't know. It was there. It was better than yesterday, that's for sure. It was all good until we had to redo some inventory. But it was alright. Okay, let's just pack it in here. Oh god, it's so dry. Mm. Great. Whoa. Like broke off in chunks there. And we're back. Um, <clears throat> something is something funky is going on in my mouth right now. I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry. I I don't know. I don't have anything to say yet. I really gotta let this juice up a bit. This is the weirdest tasting dip I've ever had. <laughs> smell it like now, dude. Like, it smells like there's something rotten just in there. Like, all mint. But then, there's something else there. And that's all I can taste. 
Mm. Real cheap hardwoods green, as always. Mm. Dude, did you see the pink and blue, or the pink and purple Muddy Girl Camel mud jug? Oh, yeah, mud jug is really Isn't that pretty it. sick, actually? It looks nice if it's really like that. If you got a good one of it, I'd buy one. It's fucking sweet. Hmm. Alright, it's juicing up a bit now. Hmm. Any dip I pack is always looser now because of Stokers. <laughs> Nothing's like Stokers, but. Got a pretty, pretty big hog in there. Right, coming over the teeth. But. I don't know. I'm gonna have to throw this tin in the freezer and let her fucking. Moisten up a little bit because it's definitely drier and shit. But <sighs> I I have no idea what I am tasting right now. Like you gotta try this shit, dude. You because there's no way I can explain it. I will then. <laughs> Mint tastes better. There's no doubt. It's like a very light. Smooth. I, I, I'm still tasting something wrong in there. Like, half the tin went bad. <laughs> if that can be possible. Like, I swear to God, that's what this is like. Like, I don't, I don't. I don't, what car are you driving? Oh, you're not driving nothing. <laughs> mm. Nice. Um. I don't know, let's just fucking do this review because I'm fucking confused. My mind's fucked right now. So the presentation, absolutely beautiful. The American Skull tins are fucking dope as fuck. Line it up real quick. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, camera's gonna fall. Mm, I need a drink. Oh, whatever. Um, the smell. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what to say right now. It smells alright. Smells like Trident, like spearmint gum. But then there's just something weird in there. I don't know what it is. Um, the taste. <laughs> mm, mm -hmm. Um, it's minty, but like I said, it's a lighter, kind of smooth. It's an intriguing mint. Like, an interesting scratch your peach was kind of mint. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, my peach fuzz. Uh, yeah. Mm. I still, I still taste a lot of something weird in there. I'm not sure what it is. Hopefully, I can figure this out. But that for time, 840. Hmm. Yeah, no. Um. It's it's good, but it's not that good. I thought it was gonna be really good. It looked really good. The tin, like the color, I was like, oh, that's gonna taste good. But mint is way better. Maybe it's because I had that Stoker's Mint, and now this is just tasting shitty. But, I don't know. It's it's not bad. I wouldn't spend $25 on it, because that's what it turned out to be. I wouldn't um, really put this on your bucket list of dip to try. But, like I said, it's not, it's not bad, but it ain't that good either. It's really different. Really different. So... Mm-hmm. Just for a rating. On a scale of 1 to 10, this ship... Hmm. Mm. I don't know. I, mm. Se uh, yeah, 7 out of 10 for me, it's... 
I'd say Skull Mint's better. Way better. Skull Mint's like a fucking 8 for me. But this shit, solid 7. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, I wouldn't recommend... Well, I'm not going to say that. I wouldn't, like, try get your hands on it. I wouldn't make it a priority. But I wouldn't... If you're in the States and it's $3, fucking give it a shot, man. Like, you can buy fucking 20 tins for the price for me to buy, like, one. And it's bullshit, so... Yeah, 7 out of 10. That's about this for me. So, Rocky Mountain Dipper. Hope you enjoyed this confusing review. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Shout out to Ursa Major for the for the lime. And remember, you're committed, not addicted. Peace.